Oh. Hello YouTube, Sentinel H here for episode 27 of my Rotary Craft tutorial series. Last episode we covered the TNT cannon, and I did make an update to the TNT cannon um, in the description. I did figure out how to get the targeting thing to work. Um, what was happening was that if you shift right click with a screwdriver, the TNT cannon goes into a different mode. The reason I didn't realize that is because after I did that, anytime I right clicked on it, my game crashed. So that's probably an issue with Monster or something, but I got, it does work, so yeah. So we're talking about the sonic weapon this episode, which is a, a nifty little device that for, uh, you know, basically home defense. Uh, but you gotta be really careful with it because it can have some incredibly debilitating effects. And it's dim. I don't want it to be dim. Okay, so the sonic weapon is crafted. Uh, well, in order to craft a sonic weapon, you're going to need four of these things, sonar units. And sonar units are crafted with a note block, a circuit board, two redstone dust, and three steel ingots. So not that expensive. These are also used for several other things um, that we'll come to later in the series. So once you've got those, you can craft your sonic weapon quite easily with four sonar units, a turbine, and a base panel. Um, now, we learned how to make the turbine when we talked about the uh, jet fuel powered engines, the micro turbine and the gas turbine. And if you remember, yeah, these things aren't cheap. Uh, lots and lots of steel. So you're gonna, this thing, Sonic Weapon here, is, doesn't, it's not cheap. It's a, it's a, ton, it's a lot of steel. Um, so yeah, be careful. You don't wanna, you know, like get it blown up or something. Okay, so now we've got our Sonic Weapon. And if we come over here, I've got one set up. So this is what it looks like. It's got speakers on it, and it's pretty <laughs> its pretty cool. And uh, basically what this does is it uses sound to injure you. I'm in creative mode, obviously, so you can't tell. Um, but once I turn this on, we're going to be able to look at this sheep, and it's going to get some effects on it. Now, this is the GUI for the Sonic Weapon. It's very, very simple. All, it, all you do is you set the decibels. Okay? That's the, if you don't know what decibels are, it's a measure of how loud sound is. I'm sure it's more complicated than that, but... Whatever, that's layman's. And so, basically, as you uh, give it more power, it can cause worse effects on the entities that are around it, including you. From confusion, blindness, all the way down to drowning to death. And uh, it's because, if you didn't know, sound waves at super high, you know, power, high powered sound waves can really screw you up. <laughs> All right, and um, the severity of its effects decreases. I think that inverse square law means is farther away you get. I, to be quite honest, I, I don't know. Some of the some of the bits of operation of this thing, I'm not quite sure. So it requires at minimum 262,144 watts, which is about half the or it is half the output of a. Um, hydrokinetic engine at full blast and it is also the output of a performance engine with uh, an additive right or two electric engine AC electric engines whatever you want to want to call it um, that's what it requires and of course now as you give it more as it gets more power it can have you know worse and worse effects um, just to be quite honest I don't actually know how to apply these numbers to the power because I'm pretty sure it says watts per meter squared uh, meter squared so I'm pretty sure it's not just put in 1.8 million watts um, I don't know because if we look and we turn this on and this at uh, a high speed and one uh, one torque here <laughs> our sheep has now been affected with slowness blindness, nausea, and I think hunger? Uh, hang on, if I if I throw this away, I'll be able to see what it is. Because I'll be... If, well, let me set myself into survival. It's affecting me with slowness, mining fatigue 4, nausea, and blindness. Yeah? I've got a white crystal pendant here, so I'm not, you know... Uh, permanently affected. So you see I've got all these I've got these negative statuses. And I should actually start taking damage. I think I'm not close enough. Um, because remember the effects of this thing get worse the closer you get to it, I'm pretty sure. That's what the thing means. So I'm pretty sure if I were to stand right here. Yep, I start taking damage. Alright. So 
the the effects get worse the closer you get. Is what I'm trying to say. Let's go back to creative. And we saw what happened to this sheep. We saw that the sheep got affected, and then it was taking lots of damage. It was take it was slowly taking up. Oh, how'd you do that? It was slowly taking damage. Since it's within a couple squares of it, it's taking damage. Now, this might not seem that great against mobs because they have to be really close, but imagine if you're in a PvP scenario and you've got a base and you've got other players that are coming at your base. Imagine what happens when they get within however many uh, meters of this, depending on how much power you give it, and they're suddenly afflicted by all these statuses. That they're gonna freak out. I mean, it, so it really is a quite a good defensive weapon. Now we can, of course, make this incredibly lethal. So, if you noticed, it says that you get lethal, you get drowning, at whatever this means for us, and lethality, whatever this means for us. Because again, I'm sure it, it doesn't mean putting in a hundred million watts. If we go ahead and give this more power, and by more power I mean doubling it to essentially the output of a um, hydrokinetic engine. Now this thing does re uh, have a, um, well it doesn't have a minimum torque requirement. According to that uh, description, it, torque does uh, help this thing out. 16,384 at 32. 32, 16,384. Okay. So if we check this thing here, power is being received. Its range is 16 meters, its max range is 124 meters. Now we can go ahead and crank up the, p the power to 177 decibels. Again, just like a TNT cannon, it won't let you set this to higher than the amount of power you're giving it will allow. If I place my sheep in here now, it instantly dies. Within three blocks, four blocks, five blocks, six blocks, seven blocks, eight blocks, nine, ten blocks, 11, 12 blocks, 13, 14, 15, 15 blocks. So uh, that, that one died there, and this one. So if these sheep get any closer than this to that thing, they instantly die. Because and then that's a lot, because we've given it so much of this power here, so much power, lots of power. All right. Now I'm still wondering how we get the range to go up. At higher volumes, it cause more debilitating effects. The range is equal to 8 plus the power minus 262144 divided by 16384. Okay. So if we plug the amount of power in, if we, well, if you want to figure out if you want a longer range, because we currently have a 16 meter range, if you want a range that is more closer to this, plug uh, the range you want over here and then solve this equation for the power. Right? And power minus 262144 means that the basic power that it needs is not uh, its not counted. So solve the equation. I didn't do it. <laughs> but you give this thing enough power and it's gonna um, screw stuff up. So if we go up to 64, now we've doubled the power giving it a megawatt. We're still at 16 meters. Let's see if we can get that to go up. Probably doing this wrong. Because again, I haven't solved the equation. Seventy-seven. Maybe I have to turn the power down, and then it gets a longer range. No. All right. So I don't really know how to get the range to go up. Um, I guess I have to solve for that, solve that equation, and figure out. Um, so I know how much power to give it, and once I've done that, I'll put that in the description. Why isn't the sheep dying? There we go. Then <laughs> the sheep died. Why was there a baby one? Oh, I guess you can spawn baby ones. But yeah, this thing's pretty good. Um, see, it, just, it doesn't actually make any sound. Uh, so, you know, nobody, if you, as long as you, and it, remember, this thing will still take us effect. Um, let me see. Let me get a block. Let me get some blocks. So I'm pretty sure that this works through walls, but I'm not 100%. Yeah. So, you can totally hide this thing, and, and your enemies will never know it's there. 
but then they get close and all of a sudden bam they died <laughs> it's a death so yeah this thing's dangerous as heck don't kill yourself with it I did that earlier um, because I stood on top of it when I was in the survival mode and I just instantly died so yeah uh, this thing's pretty powerful sonic weapon be careful with it but uh, there you go that's the sonic weapon so next episode we are going to talk about the force field that should be pretty fun so, um, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I'm Sentinel H, and I'm signing out.